Today we will introduce to you an American psychological movie called Joker, in 1981. The opening of the film is the scene that Arthur is sitting in front of the dressing table to prepare for his work, he sits in front of the mirror and tries to pull his mouth out to create a smile while his eyes are full of tears. Then he went to work, held the billboard and stood dancing in front of the store with a clown face. The kids on the street ran over and criticized his shoes, then stole his billboard. They lured him to chase him to a small alley, but they beat him to pieces and crushed the billboard because they knew he was very weak and would not fight back. Arthur then went to the community worker to get advice about his condition and get a new prescription for himself. He suffered from brain damage, so he couldn't control his laughter when he felt stressed or emotionally affected. On the bus, he met a boy and made him laugh, he was scolded by the boy's mother. After that, Arthur began to laugh uncontrollably, he tried to give the boy's mother a card about his illness, and tried to cover his mouth with his hand to avoid the stigma and emotionless looks of the people of Gotham were also on the bus. Today was like every other day, everything was bad for him. He sadly walked up the stairs to return home to his mother. His mother still told him like every day before going home to check the mailbox for a reply from Thomas Wayne. His mother had been a maid for the Wayne family many years ago, so Arthur's mother hoped that when Thomas knew of their plight, he would help them. However, the mailbox is still empty as usual. Arthur brought rice for his mother and sat with her to watch their favorite TV show hosted by MC Murray. He fell into a dream that he would become a stand-up comedian, full of humor and famous like MC Murray, Arthur imagined himself watching it directly and was noticed and applauded by Murray and the audience at the studio. He dreams of being held by Murray and Murray considers Arthur as his son. A beautiful dream for a bad day with Arthur. The next day, at the Ha Ha Company, Arthur is trying to expand his cramped old clown shoe. His colleague Randall knew about it. So he gave the 32 mm gun to Arthur and told him to keep it to protect himself. Then Arthur was invited by his boss into the room to discuss some issues. The first was a shop saying that Arthur had stolen their billboard. The second problem is that many customers report that Arthur is very weird, especially his laughter makes many people feel uncomfortable. Another bad day for Arthur. He doesn't know how to relieve his anger, so he has to punch and kick the trash can. In the elevator on the way home, he met Sophie and her mother, a neighbor who lived near their apartment. After a bad day, seeing Sophie smile, talk and wish him good night, Arthur feels better and misunderstands that she has feelings for him. He went to his house, bathed his mother. Then he sat down to watch TV and dance with guns. Unfortunately he pulled the trigger and the gunshot rang, he had to lie to his mother that he was watching a war movie. The next day he followed Sophia, watching what she did every day, the he stopped by a tea room to take notes and learn how successful stand-up comedians are. That night, Sophie knocked on the door of Arthur's apartment, asked if Arthur followed her this morning, they laugh and talk to each other. She also complimented Arthur's humor and agreed to go to see Arthur perform a stand-up comedy. The next morning, Arthur had a dance show in the children's hospital for sick children here. Due to jumping too much, Arthur accidentally dropped the gun that Randall gave him. All the doctors present at that time were surprised. Received the news, Arthur's boss cursed him badly, Randall made up the story that Arthur asked to buy that gun from Randall which made the boss even more angry and fired Arthur. Arthur dejectedly banged his head on the glass of the phone station and got on the train to go home. Jobless, colleagues harmed, people shunned, Arthur was like a lost soul on the subway train back home. On the train at that time, there were three office workers who were teasing a young girl. Arthur wanted to help her but couldn't do anything, his emotions were pent up, so his mouth suddenly turned into unwanted laughter. The girl left, and three staff members approached to tease, bully, and beat Arthur. Being cornered, Arthur immediately pulled out the gun in his body, shot every scoundrel one by one, one of them ran out, he also chased and shot and then quickly ran away. He hid in the toilet, clearing his mind. However somehow, in that moment, he was no longer scared or tired, 
Instead Arthur began to dance as if to celebrate his successful performance. Stepping out of the bathroom door, Arthur confidently walked and rushed straight to Sophie's apartment, hugged and kissed her, ending a tumultuous day for him. He came to pack up to leave the company, before leaving, he broke the time box and poster at the top of the hallway and he happily went home. He went home, watched TV with his mother, when Mr. Wayne appeared and spoke about the recent murder of three people, Wayne said the masked man was a coward, the jealous man got angry with whoever was better off me. He stretched out on the chair and laughed sarcastically. He then had to go to a social worker to get medicine, but learn that the city government has now cut social benefits because they simply don't care about people like Arthur. Arthur was depressed, but that night, Arthur was still at Pogo's tea room to perform his stand-up comedy and Sophie sat down to watch him. Due to nervousness and anxiety, Arthur could only burst out his incredible laughter, but then Arthur tried to complete his performance well. The two happily go home, on the way, they see an article about a murder clown, Sophie calls him a hero and the people killed are assholes. Excited and happy to return home. He went to watch TV with his mother and then happily danced with her. Put his mother to bed and Arthur accidentally read the letter his mother wrote to Thomas Wayne. At this time, he was stunned to learn that Thomas Wayne was romantically involved with his mother and his father was the owner of Wayne Corporation. However, due to fear of people's gossip, Thomas asked for a breakup, forcing Arthur's mother to sign some commitments to keep this secret. Surprised but also very happy. Arthur rushed to catch the train to the Wayne mansion. There he meets Bruce Wayne, the only son of Thomas Wayne and Martha Wayne. Standing outside the gate, Arthur looked at his brother. Despite living in luxury, Bruce's face was still melancholy. So Arthur opened Bruce's mouth like he was smiling when he saw his brother. At that moment, the housekeeper Alfred appeared and told Arthur that his mother was paranoid, there was nothing between Thomas and Arthur's mother. Arthur angrily strangled Alfred but saw his brother standing there looking at him in panic, so he immediately ran away. Returning home, Arthur finds his mother lying in the ambulance due to a stroke. He followed the ambulance to take his mother to the hospital. After he was fine, the two policemen came to see him, then he knowed that while Arthur was meeting Bruce Wayne, two local policemen at the house went to see Arthur's mother to ask some questions that made her agitated. Arthur went to the hospital to take care of his mother, Sophie was also there to encourage him. While he was sitting alone with his mother in the hospital, the TV aired Murray's show. Arthur was overjoyed because the clip he performed at the Pogo Tea Room was uploaded by Murray on the show, but was immediately splashed with cold water in the face because Murray did not have to praise his comedy performance, but instead, took the show. He uses his acting to tease, joke, and make others laugh. Arthur was deeply hurt by this. The next day, Arthur sneaked into the convention center, where the comedy Charlie Chaplin was hosted by Thomas Wayne to raise money for charity. Arthur saw Thomas go out, immediately followed and met Thomas in the toilet, embarrassed to accept his father but Thomas refused and talked about Arthur's mother being paranoid, once locked in Arkham Asylum and between him and Thomas. No relationship at all. Arthur laughed in pain and despair when Thomas threw a punch in the nose, warning him not to go near Bruce. Arthur was in total shock when he returned home. He ducked into the refrigerator to hide from the sounds in his head and relieve his anger. The next day he was called by Murray's show to be a guest on the upcoming show because his comedy clip was quite interesting to the audience. Arthur has one more hope for his life. That morning. He took a bus to Arkham Asylum to find his mother's medical records. But the manager wouldn't let him get the file back, so he grabbed it and ran as fast as he could to the stairs. He was in great pain when he learned that he was adopted by his mother, and that his symptoms were caused by his mother allowing her mother's lovers to abuse him since childhood, tied him to the fireplace, brutally beat him, and leave him, malnourished hunger. The person he loved the most was the one who deceived him the most and turned him into a person, who is shunned by the whole society as it is now. Walking in the rain to the old apartment, Arthur walked to Sophie's apartment. Sophie was startled when Arthur appeared and asked him to go to his house immediately. 
At this moment, Arthur was shocked to realize that Sophie's interest in him was only a product of his imagination for so long. I walked out of that apartment and went to my house. The next morning, Arthur was at the hospital, using a pillow to kill his mother. He stood by the window laughing to himself like a fool. After that, he returned to rehearse for the upcoming Murray show. Now, Arthur has nothing to lose, so he plans to perform a comedy show on television by pulling out his gun and taking his own life. Arthur dyed his hair blue, painted a clown face to prepare for his final role tonight. At that moment, Randall and Arthur's fellow dwarf visit him to offer condolences on the passing of Arthur's mother. Randall was still afraid that he would be implicated when the police investigated Arthur's gun, so he asked Arthur to agree to the testimony. Angered by Randall's evil nature, Arthur took scissors to stab his throat and eyes and hit Randall's head repeatedly against the wall until he died. But he forgave Gary, not harming Gary because he treated Arthur well in the past. Finished everything, he put on the suit and joker face, dancing happily on the stairs leading to his apartment. However, soon after, he was chased by two policemen and had to flee to a train full of people wearing clown masks to protest at the city hall. A police officer unfortunately opened fire and shot at a protester, so the two men were assaulted by the crowd. He escaped. Arthur walked arrogantly to the TV station, he went to the TV station, met Murray and asked Murray to introduce himself as Joker. Before the broadcast, Murray played back the tape recording of Arthur's performance to mock, Joker at that time had a slight change in his thinking. On air, he began telling jokes, admitting that he had killed three men on the subway. He originally intended to commit suicide as planned but was constantly mocked by Murray and the crowd, thereby Rose arguing between him and the male MC about the distinction between rich and poor, the badness of Thomas Wayne and even Murray. At the climax of this, Joker shoots Murray to death on the spot in the panic of the audience at the time. He leaned close to the camera, reading the ending of the program that Murray used to say, such is life. Due to the live broadcast, the people of Gotham were able to see the horrifying scene. Joker was arrested on the set and taken to the police station. Sitting in the car, he looked at Gotham in turmoil and became delighted by the beautiful sight in his eyes. Suddenly an ambulance crashed into a police car, causing the police escort to die on the spot and Joker unconscious. Joker was placed on the hood of a police car by protesters. Meanwhile, Thomas Wayne and his wife and children also rushed to flee due to riots in the city. Three people walking down a small alley were followed by a masked clown. He shot and killed Thomas and his wife in front of Bruce's horror. Joker wakes up dancing and rejoicing in front of the crowd chanting his name. He drew blood from his mouth to draw a smile. At the end of the film, Arthur is handcuffed and is talking with a psychologist. He smiled and walked out of the room with bloody footprints before reaching the end of the hallway and being chased by security. This is the end of the movie, see you in the next movie. Thank you for watching the movie.